Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood Sean here. I'll to give you another Gods of Rome video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Nectar, which is a very important upgrade process. As you can see, once you get a two-star fighter up to rank three capabilities, you're going to need quite a bit of stuff. You're going to need 9,280 gold. You're going to need three of the Tier 1 Nectars and a class-specific Demigod Nectar Tier 1, and you can get various nectars from the event so to upgrade those you need a bunch of stuff now to upgrade from level one to two it's a little bit easier to do we're going to use hippolyta as an example so ranking her up you only need one 2800 gold and that would put your one star fighter at rank two for a two star fighter i think it's about the same way but i don't think we actually have anybody capable of an upgrade that is two stars let's check out zeus he's level five of ten rank one of three and we don't have enough, obviously, to get him up to rank 2. But leveling up is not a bad idea as you get fighters up there. And, of course, the closer they are to max level for the rank, the more overall stats you're going to get. But generally, the first rank is not very expensive. I haven't actually tested out what we need for Spartacus, my only 3-star fighter. But let me assure you that farming Nectar is very important and... There's the class brawls. We ended up getting one of the class items in the Conqueror's Rewards, so that's pretty cool. And then there's also the medium, which is probably a little bit higher. The low difficulty is going to give you two star fighters. I think there's three star fighters in this one. Yes, there is. But a maxed out two star fighter can probably handle it. I don't know about the four star. That's a little bit extreme. You could probably still do the left side and at least complete it, but I don't see doing four star without like a max out three star fighter but for like the low difficulty that's very easy to do and i highly recommend it let's exit out we don't want to be too at medium difficulty so yeah to get nectar it's very important you also want to of course try to do the uh pvp events as well now they do have a god of the sea new challenge and the first time you complete it you get an exclusive fighter and you can also get nectar from that too and of course, the medium prize gives you a orb for completing the other difficulty. And since there's like a week left, we're probably going to try to do that. And hard difficulty, I don't see that happening, but you never know. But of course, getting a bunch of 3,000 Icor is really good. So we're going to go into the trial grounds, and we're going to go finish off the easy difficulty. This really isn't too bad. You get one and two star fighters here. So we're going to show you what you get for actually completing the easy difficulty. And we're going to start off with Minotaur. Now one thing that I've also learned with Gods of Rome, which is pretty cool, is that the evade mechanics are really good. And you can usually follow up into like light or medium swipes from the distance. I found that to be really good. It helps avoid damage. It's a lot better for controlling the field as we easily wiped out Masinissa only taking like one hit. So as you can see, 12 hits, only one hit received. And we get two quest orbs for that. Pretty easy stuff. So we're, all these fights are going to be really easy. It's going to be like one star fighters all the way across. So it's going to be no problem at all. So we're just going to quickly steamroll this and give you guys an idea of what to expect when you're farming Nectar. Especially at the early levels, which you should be doing right away at any opportunity. Here we take a hit on Hades, but he was such a massive maxed out two-star fighter that he's basically a three-star fighter at kind of mid-range as we get a 525 Ikor there really good and if we get enough we can actually upgrade Zeus up to rank 10 and show that off a little better here Hades is going to destroy everybody now, this is a maxed out two-star fighter so this is kind of what you can expect with that Achilles gets one two shots off and we're just going to steal that health back for the easy victory again. 114 coins, we get a 75 Ikor, and we have two fights to go, with the last fight being a two-star fighter. Although at 191, a maxed out one star, and even most low-end one stars probably would have a problem with that. We're gonna use Darius, one of my actual favorite cards, and the reason for that is I really like the way his medium attack performs. He seems to be a little bit quicker. He can basically just bounce in and out and just overwhelm you really quickly. I really like this card. I think it's going to be great when it's maxed out. 
think Darius is awesome, and the curse, of course, destroys your thoughts. So that's even awesome. But yes, I really like that two-hit swipe. Medium attack, because you can swipe in, back out, and rinse repeat if the opponent charges at you. So I really like that combo, and we're going to show it again against Prometheus. We could use Hades and just destroy, but we're going to use Darius just to show that off again. Now, obviously, we have a class disadvantage. Not a big deal. As this is fucking low-level two-star gameplay. So again, there's the dive out, swipe out. Of course, we took a hit there. And that's going to be some damage there. But yeah, if you quickly bounce out, you can bounce back in pretty easily. And I found that to work extremely well. Here, we're going to use our level two boost. And that works really well because you can't avoid it. Certain specials you can, but some of them you can't. And that makes a big difference. Here we're just going to take that slash, and there is Darius with the medium combo getting the victory. So we should have the... Do have the 100%. This chest of play should give us a Nectar. So there's the Nectar Tier 1. And that's best basic Nectar. I mean, you're going to get that regardless. We're going to open up seven quests. We're probably going to get like six and 125. Two and five. Actually, five 125. That's pretty good. We're going to go upgrade Zeus a little bit more. Might actually be able to get close to rank 10. So let's see if we can get there. Four and 73 is actually really good. I think we're going to miss it. We're going to get to level 9 also. Once we clear part of medium, we shouldn't have a problem with that. 5 and 83, that's really good. You get a big jump for the last couple of levels. And you see the nectar that's available? I think we actually have enough to do the Zeus up as well. Because we have a couple of class ones. We have 4 of the regular and then 1 mid-range for when you go to rank 3. So we're going to go into the Nectar fights again. And this time we're going to go in medium difficulty. Recommended power 1,000, which of course we have way more than that. So we got two star fighters. And we have three star fighters on the other side. And they're all the red class, so Hades can do a lot of work. We're going to start on the lower path. And once you hit level 15, it's a little bit easier to kind of combo people down because you can pretty much use one of each class. And if they're pretty much close to the same power creep, you can just use them and win the fight. If you can get somebody to rank 3, definitely take it. But rank 2, of course, increases the power creep as well. So definitely want to push for those ranks. Is it good to max out a fire? Absolutely. Because when you're doing 3 versus 3 PvP, you want those maxed out characters. Massinissa and Minotaur. Minotaur is going to have no problem winning this fight. I'm going to block. And we should be able to get him on this combo here extremely close. So we back away. And medium attack charge in and knock him out. Pretty simple once you learn it. You're going to avoid a lot of damage and do quite a bit more. So easy victory with a two-star fighter. So again, we're going to go the easy pathway. We're going to try to clear the whole thing, even if we spend a little bit of energy. Just to show you what you'd get from Nectar. So nobody has the bonus. We're going to use Hades. Now what I like about Hades is that his ultras have a chance to actually restore your health. And when it goes off, you get about 5% of your health back. But that's a nice little jump. And I'm sure the bleeding is in reverse effect, which is annoying. But what can you do? Just kill him before you take too much bleed damage, but I imagine it's about the same effect other regeneration. It seems pretty cool. As it did whittle Hades down a little bit. Right, so here we got Cyclops. And Darius does have the advantage, so we're going to use him, as I really enjoy using him. Because of that medium combo, plus the ability to get out of the way quickly, as you see right there. Now we're at one bar, we're going to wait for two bars. 
there you gotta hit it, and we're gonna avoid this. And you can also try to, like, light combo your way. Like, if you have space on the map, you can try to light combo your way in, and Presage is a chance to avoid all damage, which Darius gets once his secret skill is unlocked. So, again, it's pretty cool, because you can block a special completely. That's a lot of value. So we got the map unfortunately connected on his ultra, and stun is really bad. But the percentage dodge is really good too. So in and out. Took a hit there. Might as well just use our level one move here. So that should be enough to get rid of him. But as you see, Darius is a really fun fighter and definitely one of my favorites. I can't wait to three star him once we get the next one. Alright, so this is 6 energy. That's really bad. We are close to level 20, though. So here we can use Spartacus. We haven't really tapped into this 3-star fighter yet. Mostly because I want to get the 3-star fighters from the PvP 3vs3, uh, three where you can only use 1 and 2-star fighters. Having some maxed out 2-star fighters would be awesome. Because then... You can just build a team around one fighter and you probably get 30% easily just from one group of fighters that are maxed out. Alright, so we have three bars. We're going to use our finisher on Vulcan. And like the super moves in Injustice, you can't block it, but you can just combo them out. Vulcan gone. That medium attack is really good when you're trying to close the gap. That's when you should use it. Light attacks when you're close up. Far away, use the medium attack. I don't like the heavy attack. It's way too easy to counter. Um, here we can try to use Minotaur. I think we're just going to use Hades. I don't think we need to heal for the last fight, but we can check that out. As you see, again, using the light attack, and we can just get out of the way of that. We're going to get off a one bar ability. There's the regeneration, so Hades again at one bar. We got another regeneration, which is really good. And down goes Spartacus for the victory. Another 525, we could definitely get to rank 10 now. So we need four energy. We're going to use a light thunder. And we're going to do this fight just to show off again why you should be getting nectar. So we shouldn't have to heal up. Again, Darius is one of my favorite medium attackers. We got some nice hits for Hades. Here we're just going to wait to three bars, and that's pretty much game over if we hit it. I don't think we need to wait. We're just going to use the two-bar move, and Darius eliminate for the victory. We got a bunch of loot there. So 22 hits, 5 received, and easy fight there. So for completing Trial Grounds Medium, 51% explored, we get quite a bunch of stuff. And we also get a chest of plenty, which will also give us more nectar. A nectar tier 2. So now we're going to go into the team. I don't really care about the temple. And we're going to go level Zeus up to 10. Okay, we can use our 525. And we can do it off 275. Alright, so now when you're leveling up a two-star fighter up to rank two, you need two of the tier two nectars. So it's pretty important, again, if you can handle medium difficulty, definitely give it a shot. I mean, if you use your healing items, you can probably do the three-star fighter at the very end, no problem. Here we're going to spend 4,650 gold and upgrade to rank two. So max level 20, new way to activate skills and skills upgrade. So we're going to go take a look at the skills. So chance of increasing attack and harm on heavy attacks 
and on all ultras, chance of removing health from the opponent. And heavy attacks, I don't really like using on ultras, that's pretty cool. And you can also combine, obviously, with Darius the leadership. So we're going to go into the temple and we're going to open our quest spheres. And we're going to go and show off the 3 vs 3 PvP, which you should always be doing. You should always be doing 3 vs 3 PvP whenever possible. And this is why you upgrade the 2 star fire. So as you see, uh, Zeus gets a bonus. And Darius as well. So we're going to be using these 3 fighters. Vulcan does too. So let's see if we can try to match up. Okay. So we have Zeus at the disadvantage. We have Darius and Julius. This is probably the best outcome that we can get. The second fight is going to be the toughest, but Julius is not that bad to avoid. As long as he doesn't have his three bar move, we shouldn't have a problem with that. So this fight is actually going to be pretty easy. Zeus is not that hard to deal with. He's pretty slow compared to some of the fighters. Now his ultra you cannot actually avoid, which kind of sucks. Two bar. And since he's not blocking, we're just gonna get rid of him. Actually, I didn't knock him out. I'm really surprised at that. But we still wiped him out easily for the victory in the first PvP matchup. So only four hits taken. Pretty easy there. Now this is the fight that's gonna be a little interesting because Darius does have a disadvantage. It could be a three bar Julius. And it is, so this could be a problem. We have to avoid taking as much damage as we can, hoping that he uses a lower level ultra, or we can just beat him down before he gets to that point. Doesn't look like it. Yep, and there's the ultra, so Darius is going to be in big trouble. Now if we avoid a second one, we should be okay. We have to try to use medium attacks where possible. It looks like we might, that rage reduction might be a problem. And that, of course, does finish him off. So, as we figured, that was the tough fight. Now, this next fight, not so much. Zeus definitely has the advantage over Spartacus. Now, one thing that you can also do is you can actually force close the game and will not actually record the results, but for educational purposes, we're not going to do that. I think it's something that GameLoft needs to figure into the game since you pretty much have to be online to play it anyways. So it'd be a good thing to consider for future use. Again, Zeus is one of the slower cards. I really don't like him very much. But you can put the herd in on as well. And down goes the third person for the victory. So as you see, Julius did defeat Darius because he had three bars. But we still get the victory and you get 100 coins and keys per match that you win. So it's very important that if you can, make sure you win all the fights. And the rank rewards, of course... Top rewards you get based on points, and then once you get so high, you start getting gems and keys. You can even get epic spears once you get 80,000. If you have enough two star fighters, that's pretty easy. And if you hit in top 5%, you can actually get a three star fighter. So you definitely want to try to get that. So if you like this video on showing off why you need to farm nectar and why it's very important for progression in the game. Please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Gods of Rome videos playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shono. And have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Shono. Subscribe, bitches!